welcome back to the channels boys and girls now I'm a short rider says it by the title of my channel page now I bought these boots 18 months ago or just over so I put a review originally online so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe and look back for my initial first impressions with these boots so yeah today we're gonna have a quick look see how they've worn um, and what I've really thought of them and what I use to try and keep them clean and in uh, top shape as best as I can. So, yep, let's get to having a look at these boots then. Right, well, as you can see from the box, I'm a size 8 or 42. Um, these are the Max Sports GTX. These boots are also Gore-Tex. Um, prices, best just shop online. It's time I bought this... Uh, these boots they were fairly expensive so boots in question oh, just put it a bit closer to the camera obviously after 18 uh 18 months of use obviously i'm a fair weather rider um i've approximately done probably about six thousand miles in them um they've been really good i've been using all sorts of conditions from uh wet riding to uh heat of summer peaks but yeah as you can see generally as a whole they're wearing nicely the soles wearing really well um i've had no troubles with the sips or anything like that the only bit is this bit and obviously i have a triumph speed twin and the hill guard has put a bit of a sheen shall i call it or shine so you can see it take a bit closer onto the boot now i believe it's on both boots so that is my uh left hand side Ooh, i grab the other one yes i have a pair <laughs> yeah it's done the same on that one um i didn't notice so i first had an, these on my mt07 i didn't notice it done that it might just be my riding position how my feet sit on the pegs um but yeah, it's just done a bit of a sheen. It hasn't worn. It's just put a bit of a, you can see that in the light. Just put a big sheen on it. I think it's called a sheen anyway. <laughs> but yeah, once again, as you can see, these have worn really, really well. Otherwise, there's no marks on uh, any of the, uh, any of the protective areas. You know, they're nice, nice inside. Like I said, they've been very waterproof and very reliable. Um, they are a lot of money, um, but you do pay for what you get. Like I said, because they've been Gore-Tex, anything with a Gore-Tex on and being made by hand, it's always going to put the price up on things. Now, like I said, there is a heel rise in these things of about six centimeters or approximately six centimeters. So these are quite higher on the bottoms uh, than my original boots. I am five foot four with an inseam of about 27. Um, so I am quite short, uh, short in the inseam bit. So with this extra six centimeters, I went from my lowered MT-07 to riding a full height speed twin, which is what I wanted to do. And I can almost, not quite, I can almost flat foot with these boots on, where before I was proper on like tippy toes uh, when I first sat on that bike and I really wanted that bike. I didn't want to lower it and I'm gonna do another video about lowering because I don't think it's a good thing uh, Personally from personal experience. So uh, That'll be a future video, but yeah, these boots have been a lifesaver. I've, I've uh, in the sense of it's opened up a whole new world of um, uh, Bikes for me. So like I said the speed um Twin, I think it's about 806 seat height, but I've ridden bikes like the speed uh, triples and stuff like that. Standard heights of the R and RS at 825, and I've been fine. Every bike's different, so please um, ride and try them out for yourself. Go to a car a bike show. Now, in the box, when I bought the, the boots, I bought this um, leather polish. So, it smells quite funky, but it has actually given it, uh, the boots a good um, 
a good coating and I've probably only done it as you see the tube and all that time is still quite full so I haven't done it too often but as you can see as a general whole they are remarkably in good condition I haven't even cleaned them up for this uh, video so I probably haven't cleaned them for I don't know since midsummer um so yeah so as a whole definitely recommend them like I said they are expensive but you get what you pay for now I'm going to take the hill rides out and show you exactly how high the hill rise goes so I'll do that now so I'm just taking that out of my left boot so if I put it a bit there on the side you can see that's there and this do 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 look at that so that literally sits like that so if I uh, get the boot a bit closer to the camera a bit like blue peter this isn't it so it would sit like that so you can imagine how much higher you are now you do feel like you were <laughs> you do feel like you were walking um uh, funny at first but it honestly doesn't take too long to get used to it and um, now my mt07 was lowered as i mentioned when i put these boots on i felt too big for that bike then that's how silly it is and uh, you get you know when changing gears and stuff like that it takes a bit of getting used to i must admit but then all new boots i find do but yeah that's the that's the party piece that bit so that literally just go, obviously goes inside um, and that is actually only the first time I've uh, pull, pulled it out so even the cork is wearing nicely so um, I guess it's cork anyway looks like it to me but yeah the insoles wearing nicely so but yeah as you could see on that demonstration it does lift you up enough to give you confidence so you can get your feet on the floor when trying out new bikes so i hope this has been useful like i said i wish i bought these sooner rather than lowering my mt07 so um definitely uh worth the asking price they do do taller ones um the daytona they do uh lady star ones as well i went for the gtx ones because i prefer the shorter boot but that's everyone's different obviously the got two sips either side obviously falcro it up and you've got your reflector on the back there's not much more else to say obviously it's all nice and soft supple leather so yeah you know if you have got any questions please do comment but like i said i'm five foot four but in seam of 27 and i'm comfortable on a seat height of a 825 mil bike now so uh there we go well as i said i hope that has been useful so if you haven't already please like and subscribe uh, for more short rider tips vlogs speed twin content uh, amg mercedes contents uh yeah and general motorcycling and car vlogs it tends to be more on the motorcycling side uh but yeah i love you to uh Come on for the journey. This is not sponsored. This is just real life reviewing. All right. So see you in the next one, guys. Bye.